Hello dear Scorpios and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing amazing. Let's um, get your vibes for the month of November, the rest of it, and the month of December. This is going to be a reading for the rest of 2020. So let's get into it. Let's check your career, your life purpose, then your love life. And just let's channel all of these spiritual messages. So what is going on with Scorpio? I'm excited, I'm excited you guys. Oh, um, after the end of this video, I'm gonna put this in the intro, yep. So I wanna ask you guys if, for those of you who have been watching my previous zodiac signs and you just watch them, you know, you're not new to my channel, you, you already know what's up. Um, do you enjoy the style? Do you enjoy the zodiac sign readings? Do they help you? Do they resonate? Because if that's the case, I'm really thinking of creating a Patreon where we dive even deeper and it's also going to be more specific because not each person that's watching this would be on Patreon. So it's going to be for the collective of the Patreons. Um, and yeah, if these readings help you guys for a very symbolic price, I'm gonna create like a Patreon um, platform where we're gonna be VIP, cause like, why not? <laughs> um, and we're going to dive into deeper messages, get some details, you know, I really enjoy the zodiac signs, they feel very refreshing after doing a couple of pickle cards, so if you like them, if you resonate with them, let me know in the comment section below, you know, because I want to consult with you guys. So, what is going on for Scorpios? I'm getting a lot of ancient vibes, a lot of ancient vibes with Scorpio, because I'm seeing like, um, like old furniture, uh, antiques, I'm seeing like e Egyptian symbols and places and I think that Scorpios are diving into their past lives learning more about themselves, their roots, where they come from their powers, their abilities, a lot of our abilities come from past lives this is the south node the south node in astrology is your past life you guys it is um, everything you already mastered and it's like your natural talents so check out your south node I think that Scorpio should focus on their south node um, till the rest of 2020 because I feel like their south node would allow them to yeah this came also for Pisces is what I'm noticing the water signs are really going back like they're really going into the past and they're really um, reconnecting with themselves, which is very interesting. So we have Father Sky, trust in the unknown. So this is very hard for Scorpio because you rule the unknown, but you're in control of it and you don't like to not be in control of the, of your life, of the situation and the unknown. Um, it, it, it's not often times that Scorpios find themselves in, in a situation, oh my God, I don't know how to deal with this because you you run that part that aspect of um, the human experience the unknown the the secrets uh, the, the things that we need to dig deeper into and to find out so the father sky what i'm getting is that some of you might be connecting with zeus as well and i'm getting a lot of electricity magnetism um brainstorming for scorpio so a lot of mental activity you guys are um organizing a lot of things um in in your headspace your thoughts you're putting them in order to grab something you have a very piercing look scorpio and you're looking at a at a specific price and look at that ego, right? You're about to grab your prey. You're about to catch the prey. It's almost like you're looking at it and you're hypnotizing it to come towards you. This is what we do. I'm a Scorpio sun. I know what I'm talking about. Also, many of you are attracting um, soulmates who are potentially involved with music. Medicine mother. 
honor your inner knowing. So Scorpius, while moving through these um, places of the unknown and confusion and feeling lost, you are healing. So basically, actually what I'm getting here is that your healing process will take place through overcoming your fears of the unknown. Understanding that even you guys have things to learn. Even you guys have things that remain a mystery to you. And also what I'm getting is allow certain things to remain a mystery because I'm getting that after 2020, a lot of surprises are coming for Scorpio. A lot of um, gifts will come through. You will be, yeah, you will be gifted by the universe a lot of things if you allow things to unfold without trying to control it too much. And yeah, just allowing, uh, allowing yourself to move through uh, this unknown territory. Also, you're mastering your... Um, your craft is very healing. You're mastering your ability to heal. Um, I don't know, but if you're working with herbs, if you're making like potions or um, you're, using, um, you're using essential oil. I don't know if there's like sunflower oil or something, but this is coming through. I'm noticing the, the sunflower leaves on her on her head. And I think that sunflowers can be very healing for you at this time. Connecting with them somehow. Abundance. And true love in reverse. So, okay. So in love, you could be dealing with very tricky energies where partners have been stealing from you, um, where partners have been jealous of your abundance or they have felt entitled to your abundance. Maybe the, I, I'm getting that Scorpius would be pressured by other people to collaborate when you don't really want to do that. Trust your gut, you guys. If you don't feel ready to collaborate, it's not the right time. I feel that if Scorpios don't want to share their abundance, you cannot pressure them into doing so. Because if you do that, you really accumulate negative karma. I'm getting something around, don't pressure Scorpios right now for my cross viewers. Don't pressure Scorpios to engage in things that they really don't want to. Because I feel like they may not even mean to, but they might um, attack you a little bit psychically. The negative... The downside, the negative side of Scorpio is psychic manipulation, psychic attacks. So do not pressure Scorpios and Scorpios who you're watching. Um, if someone is, you know, really pushing you towards something and you feel like they're trying to make you do it, even when they see that you're not into it, this uh, is a way of them harnessing your power. So don't give your power away. But this could manifest specifically in love because we have true love in reverse. And you might notice that maybe there are a lot of um, people interested in you, but nobody is that true love. Nobody sparks your interest and nobody gives you the sign that this must be the one. The Two of Cups. So... The true soulmate is trying to shine here, but I feel like for many of you, the true soulmate would be a friend or, um, you know, that might potentially turn into a lover, but it would be somewhere, someone, sorry, <laughs> someone who has a calm energy, someone who is very gentle and very sensitive and they don't, they may not activate your sensual energy Scorpio so you might not even consider them as a possibility um, but what I'm saying is that keep an open mind because someone this is someone who does not exude the sexual energy you are looking for usually uh, also if you have Scorpio Venus you could be attracted to someone who is intense 
Um, and I get that you're attracting a soulmate, but this person is lacking that intensity and you might want to just skip, move, <laughs> but it's not going to... Yeah, that's not really cool. That's not really cool because do not give in to these people who come very intense, but then, you know, um, they turn out not to be the one at the end of the day. So let's clarify these two of cups. Because again, I think that, oh wow, tower moments. So tower moments with soulmates. So illumination ar around your connections, you know, like a lot of healing is taking around love with Scorpio around the heart space. Um, Some of you might be even dreaming. I'm getting a lot of dreams as well with these like deep dark colors. Some of you could be dreaming of someone you've never met. Um, there might be an epiphany around this. There might be, you might even see this person in the streets and be like, oh, it's you. Oh my God, it's you. <laughs> um, yeah, like surprises and love, definitely. So for some of you, a perfectly running relationship could kind of fall apart or maybe you're just um, really pushing each other's buttons. For others, for those of you who are single, people might come out of nowhere. You don't expect it. You don't feel prepared. This could be this unknown territory you have to move through. Like you cannot control your love life at the moment, Scorpio. Five of Wands. Oh God. Five of Wands. So... I'm hearing the tables are turning. Um, I think that if you've been the one competing for someone's love in the past, now you may not get them, but you may get a lot of other people competing for your love, competing for your attention. Seven of Wands. Yes, oh God, you're pushing. You're pushing people away. And the chariot. Let's see, what is this? The chariot. Some of you might want to travel somewhere with your mother or traveling towards a mother figure. Some of you have been neglecting your family and this um, is affecting your heart chakra. So a part of healing your heart chakra is engaging more with certain family members. Of course, if it's toxic and taking uh, your energy away of course you would push them away of course you would not want to engage with them but i'm talking in general about family members you might be ignoring you might be um, neglecting like duties to, towards family members um that are you know kind of like a blockage in your heart space also another sign of blocked heart chakra is if you really sit like this or if you walk like this usually people who are more confident people say that confident people walk like that you know like their shoulders are laid back and stuff but this also shows people who are very receptive with their heart chakra um and that sometimes can be even too much receptivity but for you guys I need, i'm getting that you need to accept that love requires you to open up period. Like, you cannot have a balanced... Oh, I didn't even see it. The justice card. You cannot have a balanced relationship if you're not willing to open up. And I'm also getting that some of you uh, might be dealing with divorces or your parents divorced or, or somehow one parent really went away and you were you come from a single parent family. You might be the single parent, um, but again, there is some um, healing around that situation taking place again, Scorpio. Hmm. Let me look at these cards. Let's see if I can get something more out of these cards. This card also talks about organizing your thoughts in your mental space, which we already got in the in the beginning of the reading. So I like that confirmation. Uh, 
Okay, um... I kind of resonate with what I'm about to say. So, I'm coming from personal experience. But, Scorpio, you need to accept what partner you're looking for. Okay? It's cool to keep an open mind, of course. Um, be open to blessings, right? But, um, you need to accept what partner you're um, attracted to, what partner you, you want in your life and you're craving. So, if you want someone in power, freaking grow with that. Like, accept it. Accept your true desires. This is the most empowered state a Scorpio could be in. Um, because with Scorpio comes... Um, I'm hearing sacrifice. So, Scorpio sometimes feel like in order to make my life meaningful, I need to go through the death and rebirth process. I need to sacrifice things. Sometimes Scorpio view, um, you know, they apply sacrifice to all aspects of their life. And this could even be, um, I'm getting a lot of death with this card. Uh, that's why these messages are being triggered within me. Um to talk about that you might apply sacrifice to love for example so you, i have to sacrifice my desires in order to be uh spiritual ascended or whatever but the reality of thing is that if you accept your desires and of course you know again it's all about balance you should not allow emotions to completely uh, completely um rule you but if you accept who you're attracted to what you want out of a partner it would make it so much easier to finally attract something uh, someone you really like and they really like you because yeah stop sugarcoating it stop sugarcoating um the truth of the matter what do you want? Do you want someone in power? Do you want someone that um, is more um, on the submissive side? Or what do you want? Like, just ask yourself. Very, very basic. Don't think about the answer, you know? Don't try to shape the perfect answer. Just, what do you want? <laughs> Scorpios, I feel like the universe is really asking you this. You need to be precise if you want to manifest this person. So I want to pull one more oracle card. <laughs> Release the old and rest autumn. It came out in reverse. This comes up a lot for Scorpios and it recently comes up a lot because it's Scorpio season. <laughs> For those of you who are dealing with a, maybe a father figure or a mother figure who passed on and this scarred you deeply. You need to rely more on your spiritual understanding of death. You need to, yeah, really explore the concept of death and really dive deep into uh, um, incarnation, you know, reincarnation, past lives, um, how different cultures view death. That could be super helpful if you're dealing with losing a pet, a family member, even, even for some of you like a husband or a wife, you know, a child, a loved one, simply a loved one who passed on. Um, especially when you were a kid um, or in your early teenagehood. This is when we shape our beliefs and they remain with us for a long, long time and it's much harder to change them afterwards. That's why a lot of these... Um, a lot of our perception is shaped during childhood. That is very basic. Basic psychology. Um that I'm sure many of you know about, but what I'm getting here is that um, accepting the death process might actually allow you to live your life to the fullest. And I think that this is what Scorpio desired right now. This is what you desire, guys. 
your life might become much more meaningful and purposeful if you just accept that as a natural occurrence. It will happen. So this is all I've got. Um, I won't go deeper into it. But yeah, really let me know if these readings resonate with you. If you like this style of um, maybe not, you know, seeing the cards, but also having like this face to face conversation because it feels a bit more personal. Um, I would probably do both. However, I just want to ask you guys for your opinion. Um, and yeah, let me know if this resonated, let me know if you enjoyed it. And if you want to support my channel, make sure to like, share, subscribe. This helps so, so much. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing crest of 2020 and make sure to explore my pick a cards. And also I hope to see you in my upcoming pick a cards or zodiac sign um, videos. Bye.